Shalom, and welcome to Lunchtime Prayer for Israel, and greetings, not from Jerusalem, but actually from Tel Aviv. We are in the actual place where Israel's Declaration of Independence was signed, May 14th, 1948. You see the microphones where the, the men were sitting with David Ben-Gurion and some others, and above is the picture of Theodor Herzl, who was considered the father of Zionism. So we're continuing our series, Death from Life. And today is Israel's Independence Day. As God's witness, Israel reflects God's love, even in the darkness of the Holocaust. For out of those ashes came the life of the nation of Israel. Today, there are still survivors of that dark time who are fulfill, living fulfilled lives. And as they have come to life, so has the nation and the land of Israel. Today, as we celebrate Israel's rebirth, we are really celebrating the God of Israel who has done such wonderful things for us. And so we're continuing reading Ezekiel 37, verses 12 through 14. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up from your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened up your graves, O my people, and brought you up from your graves. I will put my spirit in you, and you shall live, and I will place you in your own land. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it, says the Lord. You get the picture? God brought us up brought us into the land that we would know him, literally opening up the graves from the Holocaust and bringing life out of the ashes. So today, let's proclaim to the world and to the heavens, Am Yisrael Chai, Israel lives. The people of Israel live. So Abba Shemayim, we thank you that you are alive and you've never broken your promises to Israel. As we look around the very streets of Tel Aviv, we see in every corner, in every alleyway, Am Yisrael Hai, the people of Israel live. Despite the attempts of the enemy through the Holocaust and through terror attacks and bombings, we live. And so we thank you and praise you as we proclaim the truth in Yeshua's name, amen. With that, we say shalom from Tel Aviv.